We are now into S through Z, our last section of glossary items. Um, I wanna start off with this sales comparison approach. Um, this is where we use comparable sold data to help us establish a price for a subject property. This is going to be where you maybe make those adjustments. And the adjustments that you make are always to the comparable sale, not to the subject property. Satisfaction of mortgage. This is two steps. This is one that the mortgage balance has been paid to zero. And it is also a release of the mortgage lien. A uh, section is one square mile. There are 36 sections in a townhome. And just remember that one square mile equals 640 acres and each acre equals 43,560 square feet. Severalty, this is ownership by just one person. They've severed themselves off from everyone else. A short sale here. Um, that is when the seller still owns the property, but they're behind in their mortgage. And now their property is worth less than what they owe. The property is maybe worth 200, but their loan is 225. So we're asking the bank to sell it short on funds, it's not short on time, it's short on funds. Single agent means that you only represent one party in the same transaction. A special assessment is a type of property tax and it's special. It's a tax for a specific project that's going to be assigned to the property owners that benefit from the project. Special warranty deed, um, not quite as good as the general warranty deed. It warrants against title defects in the past and the present, but not the future. This works really, really well for a foreclosure because when a bank relists a property that they've had to take back into inventory, they don't know what that previous owner did that could create a lien in the future, either by not paying their utilities or maybe having work done, a labor to the house and creating a mechanics lien. So they can warrant the past and the present but not the future. So that's a very common one with a foreclosure. Statutory, um, statute of limitations means if you're gonna file a lawsuit against someone, there's a limit of time in which you can do it. Let's go down here to steering. This is another fair housing term, and this is a practice against buyers. We talked about blockbusting, which is against sellers. This is against the buyer or a tenant where we indicate that maybe they would wanna live somewhere else where they're more comfortable, where there's people like them. They can live anywhere they want. Straight loan is where we only pay the interest to the bank. We don't make a principal payment. A sublease is where a third party takes over the lease. So I had a lease signed and I get a new job, but I can't get out of my lease with my landlord. If the lease allows it, I could still sublease it to another party. Maybe I find a friend that wants to take over the lease for me, but I'm still responsible for making sure the rent gets paid. A suit for liquidated damages and a suit for specific performance. Liquidated damages is going to be when a buyer defaults on a contract and the seller feels like they're owed some money for their time off the market or repairs that they made in an effort to get the deal together. A suit for specific performance is where a buyer sues a seller to enforce performance on a contract. A survey, this goes back to those legal descriptions. A survey is the professional process 
of determining those that border of a property or the property lines. Tenancy in common. This is a type of co-ownership where you've got a separate transferable interest. So if we own things as tenants in common, let's say 50-50 between you and I, I can go sell my 50% as long as we're not married. I can go sell my 50% um, and do whatever I want with it. I can also will it, gift it um, to anyone else that I want. Time is of the essence. This does not mean ASAP. It means that there are elements of the contract that have specific deadlines and we want to adhere to those deadlines so that we can ensure a timely closing. So maybe we've got 10 days to turn in earnest money according to the contract, 15 days to do a home inspection, 30 days for an appraisal, Final underwriting must be completed five days prior to closing. Three days prior to closing, we need the closing disclosure, right? There's all those dates. Doesn't mean that we put the cart before the horse and get the appraisal, right? And call it due on day 10. If we agreed to 30 days, it's 30 days. A timeshare, you might have that come up. That's co-ownership where multiple owners have interest in the same property but it's only for a specific time, like one week. Title, that's ownership to a property plus evidence through a formal document that is recorded called a deed. Title insurance, this is insurance that would protect you against future title defects that were unknown when you purchased the property. They come up unexpected. The way that we try to prevent these unexpected liens though is through doing a title search of public record. A township again is that six by six parcel of land. It contains 36 sections. Trade fixture. This is personal property. But the key to this is a trade fixture is used for the purpose of conducting business. Then it's removed, not residential. It's not residential. Transfer tax stamps. This could be a math question for you under one of the eight under calculations. This is a uh, tax to transfer real estate from one party to the other. It's typically paid by the seller and in Iowa, we call them revenue stamps. Triggering terms. This relates back to RESPA and Regulation Z. It says a buyer must know the true costs of obtaining a mortgage. And triggering terms that are disclosed on the loan estimate form must match exactly on the closing disclosure. Anything that has to do with the cost of obtaining a mortgage, the origination fee, the interest rate, um, running a credit check, anything that has to do with obtaining the mortgage from that bank must match. Any of those changes, that's a trigger, right? Those are a list of triggering terms. A trust, this is for all you trust fund babies out there. Um, this is a device created for real or personal property that can be managed on behalf of a third party known as a beneficiary. This trust account, again, is a type of escrow account where we hold earnest money, typically held by the listing broker on behalf of a buyer. And again, it holds both parties accountable to following through with the terms of a contract. Tying agreement, or it's maybe called a tie-in agreement, is another antitrust law, but it is also discussed in the Iowa Code. And this is when we require a consumer to purchase one product in order to get the one that they really want. So forcing someone 
to list their property with you in order to buy the lot that they want. They can make those two separate decisions, but you can't refuse the lot if they don't list it with you. It's gotta be two separate decisions. They cannot be tied together. I'm a VA guaranteed loan. Again, that's for veterans. It's a 100% financing program. I would connect that to CRV, the Certificate of Reasonable Value. That's their version of an appraisal. A variance is a request um, to change the plans um, by the city. So let's say the city has um, a law a building code that says you've got to have a 10 foot setback from the sides of your lot. That way not all your neighbors are building right up to the border of their lot line. You guys are like this, right? You got to have a 10 foot setback. This is an example, but maybe your lot is an irregular size. And then that would make the width of your house like 10 feet. You maybe could apply for a variance and then maybe the city would give you a variance that would allow you to only do a setback of five feet. And then that way you could have a 20 foot width. That's just an example. I'm not saying that those were good numbers. Um, zoning ordinances. Um, again, this just refers back to things are zoned agriculture, industrial, residential, commercial. And then when you build, you got to get a zoning permit in order to build a structure. This concludes the review of our glossary items and I hope you found it helpful.